Welcome to Hadir Vlogs channel of YouTube. If you still didn't subscribe then subscribe and press the bell icon for more videos. The PDM leadership has announced to arresting chairman PTI Imran Khan and then the people in a huge crowd of supporters of Imran Khan came out late night. Imran Khan, Pakistan's former prime minister, has been charged under the country's anti-terrorism act. In the latest chapter of the tense struggle for power with Pakistan's current government since his ouster. Sunday's move came a day after Khan addressed a rally and criticized top police officials and a judge for the arrest of his chief of staff. Police said in a charge report that Khan had threatened the officials. The way Imran Khan made his speech and the threats he made led to fear and terror among the police, judiciary and the common people and it harmed the peace of country, they wrote in the report. Since Khan was ousted from power in April, he has held boisterous rallies castigating the government. The former cricket star has maintained his strong political base and gained momentum in local elections. By contrast, Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif, who replaced Khan, has made little progress in addressing the dire economic crisis that sent consumer prices skyrocketing. Khan will have to face the law for threatening and hurling abuses at the magistrate and police officers. Such acts of brazen thuggery are responsible for instigating extremism in society. Interior Minister Rana Sanolla tweeted early Monday. जब ईमान तुम्हारे पास हो, अल्लाह की रज़ा भी साथ हो। मेरे पाकिस्तानियों मेरे नौजवानों पर आप नहीं बिजार नहीं करना, आप नहीं सबों से बात नहीं करना। आप लोग सबके सब इस्लामाबाद पहुँचे। तुम्हारे साथ हो। If this line is crossed, that would lead to something very bad. Not good for the people and for the country, said Murad Said, a senior official in the Terry K. Insaf party, which is led by Khan. We want to remain within the bounds of the constitution, but people are upset, very angry, he said, warning that the popular unrest could destroy the sitting government. With political tensions rising, Pakistan launches media crackdown. Said and other party leaders have called on thousands more to come to Islamabad and protect their leader. Khan's chief of staff, Shahbaz Gil, was arrested earlier this month after he made comments on a talk show that the government deemed anti-military. Khan alleges that Gil was tortured during his imprisonment, a claim the government denies. Khan and his party already faced a partial media ban. Authorities have prohibited the live broadcast of his speeches, and the news channel that Gil made his remarks on was banned. Two news anchors associated with the same channel fled the country after reportedly being harassed by the government. Khan was removed from office in April by a no-confidence vote in parliament that took place after repeated delays. He swept to power in 2018, promising to build a new Pakistan, an Islamic welfare state based on opportunity, justice and independence for the impoverished Muslim-majority nation of 220 million people. But he struggled to manage the economy amid rampant inflation and rising foreign debt. He also clashed with the country's military leadership and lost political allies, who slowly gathered enough support to challenge him and accused him of nearly bankrupting Pakistan. Khan is the first leader to be removed by a legally held vote since Pakistan was founded in 1947. Previous prime ministers have had their tenures cut short by either a military coup or another form of extralegal interference. Khan claimed his ouster was backed by the United States. He did not provide evidence for that claim, and the State Department has denied involvement. Earlier, Imran Khan said that today marked the beginning of a freedom struggle against what he called a foreign conspiracy of regime change. Pakistan's police have charged the country's former prime minister, Imran Khan, under anti-terror laws. Their investigation comes after he accused the police and judiciary of detaining and torturing his close aide. Tensions are high in the country, with the former leader's supporters gathering outside his house vowing to take over if he is arrested. Since being ousted from power in April, Mr. Khan has been a vocal critic of the government and the country's army. 
Police announced the charges after the cricketer turned politician accused authorities of torturing his close aide, who was himself being detained under sedition charges. In a public speech on Saturday, Mr. Khan condemned Islamabad's police chief and a female judge for the detention and alleged mistreatment of his party colleague. You should also get ready as we will take action against you, he said in the speech, referring to the pair directly. Officials accused Mr. Khan of breaching the country's anti-terrorism act for allegedly making threats against the state officials. Hundreds of the former Prime Minister's supporters gathered outside his home in Islamabad after news of the investigation broke, bound to take over the capital if police tried to detain him. Police who were present at the scene said they were not there to arrest the former leader, but to maintain law and order. The case comes at a time of heightened tension between Pakistan's government and Mr. Khan, who was ousted from power in April in a no-confidence vote. Since then, the former leader has toured the country to deliver a series of fiery speeches calling for fresh elections and fiercely criticizing both the government and the army. On Saturday, Pakistan's media regulator announced that television channels would be banned from broadcasting his speeches live, accusing Mr. Khan of hate speech against state institutions. The former leader claims the government is trying to censor him. On Sunday, he criticized the ban at another political rally in the city of Rawalpindi. What crime has Imran Khan committed? I will never accept this gang of thieves, he told his supporters. Mr. Khan later accused the government of blocking access to YouTube halfway through the speech in an effort to prevent people from listening to him live. Despite being ousted from power in a no-confidence vote earlier this year, Imran Khan continues to count on the